I run the Dallas Comic Show, which is going on this weekend, November 11th and 12th in Louisville. And we wanted to do a little something special tonight because one of our guests that was with us this weekend, uh, you know, I, I don't need to introduce him, but I'm gonna because he's so cool. Uh, this is actually the second time we've had him with us at one of our shows, but we wanted to show one of my favorite movies, the movie that came out literally the year I was born. Um, but I have seen this movie so many times, I've never seen it on a big screen, and I can think of no place better to do it than the Alamo Draft House. Uh, a couple of quick announcements before I bring the man of the hour out. Uh, every one of you that bought a ticket tonight, when you leave, we're gonna <coughs> hand you a signed photo, so you get that to take home with you. It's a beautiful photo. Woo! That is compliment to Dallas Comic Show. I spared no expense. These are high quality photos. You're gonna love them. It's not like a color copy or something. So. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for coming. Who all, I, I can't, I don't know if I can see all the hands, but who all has never seen Blazing Saddles? Has anybody never seen it? I got some people here in the front row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let me just say that by today's standards, um, it might be a little shocking to some of you. <laughs> but just keep in mind that this, this film is actually a very smart commentary on racism and bigotry and sort of be people being uptight and whatnot. So keep that in your mind when you see it and don't be just shocked because I think <laughs> there's a lot of really smart humor in here. Without further ado, it is such an honor to introduce this man. I've known him for years. I, I cannot tell you what a treat it is to talk to this man in person. And after this movie's over, we're gonna have a Q and A. So we're gonna be taking some of your questions. So stick around for that as well. Uh, and I know you guys are going to have questions after this movie, especially if you've never seen it. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the one, the only, Burton Gilliam! Thank you. 